quick security is a way of uh, configuring security NAV uh, very fast, uh, but also actually very precise and very good security. It's a, a setup simply by categorizing uh, the objects and the data, and uh, it will be very easy for ISV or even a heavily customized system actually. We have some uh, permission groups also with Easy Security that you can use for assigning the users. Uh, basically, a read access, a data access allowing you to use the application, and a super access for quick security. It's a great solution for go live. A lot of times when you go live, you're not sure about the processes, what in individual users need to be doing, but you're pretty sure you don't want people to create new payment terms. Uh, and that's all the things that can easily be accomplished with the quick security. We can also make security based on a few tables. If you want to use the sales header, the purchase header, customer, vendor, maybe a few other tables in the system uh, for controlling your security, but you in general uh, don't have a problem being a little relaxed in all the related tables, we can accomplish that in a very simple way actually. It's a very good security between the level of super data uh, and a complete segregation of duty level. Um, we can accomplish segregation of duties, but it requires some preparation. The quick security typically don't require any real preparation. Within a few hours of importing the easy security object, we can have it deployed it in production and there will be minimal interruption to users. Probably you won't even see anyone noticing they don't have full permissions anymore, unless they of course go try delete a payment term, change a posting group or things like that one. The quick security here is based on uh, setup simply by looking at either the object or looking at um, the table or uh, in here. We control that one from the object properties. And if we first take a look at the permission sets we're building, we will have one that allow you access to data, basically using the application, um, not changing anything in the setup, but using the complete application. Then we will have one with read access. Um, and again, uh, we can take away tables from people. So if you don't want people to see the payroll, even if they have this read permission, they won't be able to see the payroll tables, of course. And then we have a super permission. It allows to modify all the tables you normally do uh, with quick security. But again, payroll, for example, will still not be accessible for this kind of super in here. So that's a data level access working in NAV, only reading, or super uh, with quick security settings. The other thing is we also control the objects. Uh, and we can take away certain objects like the chart of account, um, maybe account schedules and things like that one from people in a very simple way in here. And then we have a login. Um, it's absolute minimum permissions to open NAV, and that's the five permission sets that actually is used for quick security in here. The other part of it is, of course, the control of the objects. And as you install Easy Security, we will, um, for 400 of the more than 1,000 tables in standard NAV, we have already categorized them. So we will have marked them as read-only, uh, if it's tables that in a normal case would not be needed to be modified by a user working in the system. We can also accomplish no access in here, basically um, having tables that users cannot get to at all because they will have no access in here. And this will count both for the data, for the reader and for the super in here. So. If I wanted to take away the employee table, for example, I could go in here and say I want to have a new one. Um, the employee, 
Um, I want to take away that table 5200 and I want to have no access in here. So in that case um, I now have taken that table away from in here. We can actually add multiple ones in here. So if I go down here and find my employee all these tables in the 5200 range related to human resource I want to add them to the quick security type with no access and now um, I added all these in my list in here and of course they now have no access in here so that's how you control the data in here if I go back and say let's update my quick security permission sets in here it uses data to calculate these extra permission sets in here so if I look at my data permission set I can see I have 991 permissions in here I can view it and for all the tables that are um, for setup they would actually be marked as read in here I have um, then all the regular tables used for working in NAV and if I actually went down to my 5200 range in here the one I just took away I can see of course there is none of these tables in here so this one allow me a fair amount of access to um, the application to use it and remember this one is not complete security down to the lowest level it's a replacement for super data that can be accomplished in an hour or two actually in here in a production database same thing as I actually did of course my reader in here it will only have read access to all the things in quick security in here and my super even if it says super again it will have full access to all the table being able to control and add all the records necessary if I go down to my 5200 in here of course this user still don't have access to that range in here so it's a huge difference being a super but without access to everything in here the other part of this one is controlling the objects in here and again I can go in and in my object properties let's go look at my pages down here and I have some pages in the system and everything is currently marked with full access in here but I can go in and use our relations that's the source code analysis and say I want to look at pages I want to look at pages that have a uh, relation to table data and I want to look at pages that have relation to either my GL accounts uh, or my GL entries in here I can now see all the pages in the system that have access to these places and I don't want people to normally get in there so I want to add them to a quick security type of no access in here so if I now go back uh, refresh my list in here I'll see that I now have a list of objects in here with no access if I now update my quick security permission set I look at the one for objects I can see there's almost every object in the database in here but if I actually go in here and look for page I'll see I have most of them in here but I'm missing all the one from 16 to 20 that is all the one for uh, GL accounts and GL entries in here so again I took this one away in here of course when I take it away people can't use it but it means you can make a single permission set only related to these few things in here that you took away and actually use those ones another option for that is you can actually use all the permission set that we ships with the application because we have now only taken away important objects we've only taken away a few uh, tables and if we had a lot of customization we had ISV solutions they would not 
have anything about the tables we have taken away in there. Um, we wouldn't take anything away from those solutions. And in that way, we can use these permission sets together with the quick security and really don't care about ISV solutions or uh, customizations to the database. And that will also be the case in the future. You can implement something and this security will actually keep on working that way. So um, that's a very important way and this one and it's extremely simple to set up. The last piece of course would be to apply it to the users in here. And that's where we have some data that you can import as easy security is installed and it will have a data permission group basically um, giving you access to data, giving you access to login and giving you access to the objects in here. We have a reader and a super with the same in here, basically three permission sets inside this group in here. As we want to go apply this to the users, I can go to my list of logins and I can say all these users in here um, and Susan and also uh, these five users, they actually need to be set to only have data access in here. So I'll add a permission group, I'll add my quick security data access. I don't want to add it for all companies, so I want to add it for maybe my Kronos Europe and Kronos North America. And I want to replace whatever permission they used to have. And as I do that one, I go in and uh, replace all the permissions. So if we look at Susan here, for example, I can see that her existing permission were marked as no permission. And I now got the quick security access in the two companies I selected in here. So first of all, you make a decision about the tables. Um, you make a decision about what objects you want to take away. You can potentially build groups also uh, more complex than this one. But in this case, I actually just use the quick security in here. So if I now go and uh, publish in here, and I'll actually publish everything so I get uh, it all working the way I want. It's creating the restore points and then after that it will write the changes um, to the data in here. So my permission has been published. There is a trick in here, by the way, if you hold down shift and right click, you can run as a different user. So I actually going to run as John in here. And uh, even I'm logged in as the user, I'll be able to actually run as a different user in here. So I'm now in uh, Kronos Europe. Uh, John was one of the users I changed, so I can see he only see two companies now. If I go into sales orders, I can create a new sales order. Um, I can basically do anything in the application related to working with data. Um, so as I add this one, I have no problems in here. If I go to my uh, invoicing, for example, and I will look at my customer posting group, for example, So if I can get to that one, um, payment terms, for example, uh, if I create a new one in here, I get an error that I don't have access to it. So I'm not going to change any of this one in here. So um, it actually don't allow me to do that in here.
if I would go look at uh, one of the posting groups and things like that one, I think this one, if I click on advanced, for example, um, and I would go take a look at the matrix um, with all the different uh, setups in here. If I try to edit that one to get rid of that value, for example, of course I don't have access to that either in here um, because I only have read access to the setup in here. If I went to department and looked for my chart of account, I can see it's actually gone in here. 2015 have this feature about hiding menu items you don't have permission to. Because I took away the objects, it don't mean I can't actually read it, um, but I can't get there because I actually don't have uh, the ability in here. So if I actually also go in here and say, let's find everything. I can, of course, see my GL entries, but if I actually show the related entries, I get an execute error on the page. So it's not that I can't see the entries coding wise and looking at it from code. If I try to view them in the application, I don't see them in here. So in this way, you can take away reports, any object you actually want from people in a very, very simple way. And it's extremely tolerant for all kinds of changes to security in here or changes to code and ISV solutions.